Hi again, good morning. So this time, we are to discuss, so I am to discuss the alternating current. So the alternating current is like a sine wave. So um, we also have what is known as the sine wave. So the sine wave starts at zero. While the cosine wave, we also have what is known as the cosine wave. The cosine wave is similar with the sine wave. However, it doesn't start with zero. So cosine wave is like this. So it doesn't start at zero origin. However, it started before the origin. That is for the cosine wave, which is similar with the sine wave. Now we are to study now the different voltage value of an alternating current since the source of our power supply is 220 volts. Now there are uh, four, four different values of voltages. So let's start first with uh, the value of the voltages in this sine wave. Now the y-axis represents the voltages and the x-axis represents the time that elapsed when that voltage value is actually uh, attained or uh, measured. So the first voltage value for our alternating current is what is known as the peak value. Peak value or sometimes known as the maximum value. It is represented by V peak or V max. So V peak is the this is the maximum value for this sine wave positive that is from zero to the highest so this is the peak value positive we also have a peak value which is negative so this is the highest value of the negative voltage v peak then the next voltage is what is known as the peak to peak peak to peak and this is written as v p to p okay or sometimes it is written as V peak to peak. So, for instance, the voltage from 0 to V peak is simply equal to 5 volts. And the voltage from 0 to the maximum negative voltage is negative 5 volts. So, the peak value here now is simply equal to positive 5 volts. Positive 5 volts is the peak value for this and this peak value is negative 5 volts for the peak to peak value it simply means from the highest positive value down to the uh, highest value of the negative voltage so you only get the magnitude so this is the value for the peak to peak this is now the peak to peak voltage so the peak so this is now your v peak to peak or it has a magnitude of 10 volts so meaning to say, if you have a 10 volts peak to peak, then the peak value is 5 volts. The next AC voltage is what is known as the root mean uh, square value. So I believe this was already discussed in your circuit one, or also known as the RMS value. So the RMS value the voltage of RMS, how do we get the voltage of the RMS? It is simply equal to the peak value. Okay? Then get the mean, divided by 2, and then get the square root. So that is now the root mean square. You get the mean value or the average, and then you get the square root. Then you already have the RMS value. So, getting now the value, getting now the value of this, what is the value of 1 divided by square root of 2? The value of 1 divided by square root of 2, if you have your calculator with you, you'll have 1 divided by 1 divided by so, 1 divided by the square root of 2, you will have a value of 0.707. Okay? So, 1 divided by square root of 2 is 0.707 of the maximum voltage. So, that is now the root mean square. What does it mean? Simply means, 
70.7% of the maximum value is the RMS value. So where's the peak value? That's the value of 5. Okay? So this is the 100% value of the voltage. Where is the 50%? This is the 50%. Where is the 70.7% of the highest value? This is. So this is now the RMS value plus this point or that point is the RMS value of this half wave. Of this half wave. Okay? So after getting... So what is now the RMS value for this given sine wave? We have VRMS is simply equal to we have 0 0.707 times the peak value which is 5 volts. So you will get a value of 3.54 volts VRMS. Okay? Then the next, we're done with the peak. We're done with the RMS. Next is the average value. Okay? So for the average value, let me just erase this one. For the average value, okay, the average value, or sometimes called as the DC value. Okay? Now, the average value or the DC value of a half wave, Okay, of this half wave alone. So, that is simply um, equal to the voltage average is simply equal to the peak value, the peak value of this one, which is 5 volts, as given here. I will simply get only the half wave because this is the full wave. This is the half wave. Let me isolate that one and place it here. Okay? So the peak value, which is 5 volts, divided by the area. What is the area of this? Okay. So looking at this picture, from this point to this point is a positive value of half wave. From this point up to this point is the negative half value. So meaning to say, from this point to this point, this is considered to be one cycle. Okay. This is considered to be one cycle. One cycle consists of the positive half and the negative half. Why it was called one cycle? Because it will again repeat. So meaning to say one cycle had elapsed and then it will repeat again for another cycle. So again, we will only consider this positive half wave. So for this positive half wave, what is the boundary? No? What is the boundary of this half wave? So, if this is one cycle, we all know that, so it, let's have a note, let's have a note. We all know that one cycle is simply equal to 360 degrees, or this is simply equal to 2 pi. If we consider only half of the cycle, then, therefore, the area under the curve, or this shaded area, this shaded area, the area under the curve is simply equal to 0 to 5. So, to get the average, you get the maximum, we pick, divided by the pi, okay? or the area bounded by this half. So, getting again your calculator, 1 divided by pi, 1 divided by your um, pi will give you an answer of 0.318. So, this is now 0.318 of the maximum value. So, that is now your average voltage. What does it mean? It simply means that the average voltage is 31.8% of the peak value. So, if this is the peak value, the 31.8% is somewhere at the bottom. So, that's the reason why. That's the reason why. The average value is below. It's not on the 50%, but rather it's below 50 because it is only 31.8% of the peak. And that is your average value. Take note that the average value that we have uh, considered here is simply the half wave. 
mom what about if i want to get the average value of the whole cycle if the whole cycle is to be considered okay, if the whole cycle is to be considered so the history, let's say you want to get the average of this whole cycle okay? so you have the positive v peak you have the uh, negative v peak so this is 0 this is pi and that is 2 pi because that is actually what one cycle so if i want to get the once the average of a one cycle so the average is simply equal to what you have a value of v peak okay plus the value of your negative v peak okay and then how many values do you have you have two values positive and negative so it's an average so you divide it by two so v peak minus v peak you will simply get zero voltage okay so the average voltage is simply equal to zero voltage why it's because looking at this figure the mean or the average is actually at the center so that's the reason why for a one cycle alternating current the mean average is zero but for a half wave just what we have discussed earlier for a half wave we have zero we have up to pi this is v peak the average voltage is simply equal to the peak value and you divide it with the area okay. so v average for a half wave is 0.318 of v peak okay so that it that's it for the alternating current and then lastly aside from the average peak rms okay we also have what is known as the instantaneous voltage so instantaneous voltage simply means the voltage at any instant say for instance what's the voltage at when the time is at this point or at this angle what is the voltage at 90 degrees what is the voltage at, at 180 or what is the voltage at 160 degrees at that instant so the formula for instantaneous voltage is simply equal to small letter e equal to the peak voltage or this is sometimes represented by capital e and then the sine wave sine angle theta so this is the formula for instantaneous voltage that E is the amplitude, so as I mentioned earlier, the word amplitude, the word amplitude okay, simply means the highest voltage or the maximum voltage. So E here is 5 volts. If you want to get the voltage at this instant, so that is 90 degrees, this is 90 degrees, right? This is, so this is... So if this is the maximum 5 volts, this is 180 degrees, and this is 90 degrees. So what is the voltage at 90 degrees? So we all know the answer is 5 volts. Pero let's, but let's try using the calculator. So at sine 90 degrees, what is the value? We all know that sine 90 is simply equal to 1. So sine 90 is simply equal to 1. If this is 1, 1 times 5 volts, then... The voltage is simply 5 volts. So, at angle 90 degrees, at the instant that the angle is 90 degrees, the voltage is simply equal to 5 volts. So, there you have it. The peak value, the peak to peak value, the RMS value, the average value, as well as the instantaneous value, value of the AC voltages.